Hello everyone, I am Rikesh Kumar, Technical Engineer at Semco Infotech. Today I am going to introduce 5 volt 30 ampere prismatic cell tester uh, with uh, 8 channel capacity. So uh, now I am going to turn on the machine to introduce each and every parts. So the machine is going to turn on as you can see there. Uh, there is a total 8 channel. This 8 channel upper side is for the uh, prism, uh, sorry, syndical cell testing, uh, syn for syndical cell. Like uh, you can adjust, uh, adjust the height for 65 mm and 70 mm cell type of. You can also test uh, 18650, 21700 uh, and uh, 26650 and also 32700. Means all type of syndical cell you can test it there. There is a, a, a this these port are for the prismatic cell testing machine. Uh, sorry, prismatic cell tester. You have to connect uh, your prismatic cell port uh, there. It will be uh, charging and discharging port will be connected to the prismatic cell projecting a negative turn. And uh, this uh, this one is for such a sensing wire connection. So all the connection is available for the prismatic cell. Uh, we have connected one cell for the demo purpose. So maximum you can connect uh, a cell. The main factor is that whether you can test uh, syndical cell or prismatic cell, but uh, one cell at a time means uh, for the individual channel like channel number one, if I have connected the syndical cell, I should not connect the prismatic cell. So uh, you have to use uh, these two way uh, at a single time, uh, don't mess up with the syndical and prismatic cell uh, uh, at the same time. So now uh, this all uh, this, this all are the about the hardware connection. It's a required a single phase connection for power input and the, for the software interface uh, we use the LAN cable RJ45 LAN cable to communicate with our uh, laptop or uh, so, uh, any software device that you are using right now. So that is all about the hardware inter uh, interference. Uh, now I'm going to introduce about the software one. So once uh, when we we'll uh, when uh, we open that software interface, it will be look like that one. So there is a different different one like the testing interface. This this one is the testing interface. Then there is a calibration interface, uh, which is on demand uh, on demand purpose. Like after one or two years, when we have to calibrate the machine, you can use that one. There is a uh, grading system like uh, capacity grading uh, for the capacity grading of each and every cell. Data management, for, uh, data, uh, data management system for the multiple uh, machine, uh, sorry, device management and data management. Data management for the your, uh, uh, like you have to uh, check out your uh, history data, you can check it there from there. Then there is a language purpose things. Now going to the test, uh, testing interface, here you can uh, get the each and every uh, uh, interference of uh, each and every cell on the basis of that channel. This one uh, for the machine, that machine which is going on right now, 5 volt 30 ampere machine. Now we have a, a like uh, for this channel, we have already loaded the software. So you are getting like go to option uh, since the machine is, uh, so since the channel is ongoing, like uh, it is uh, at that time CCCB mode is going on. So you can uh, uh, select the go to option to jump the another mode. So it's like in this charging mode from charging to three. pause means to pause the system recording data means to, uh, to check out the uh, data for the respective channel then there is export data we will get export data in two way like in uh, excel file in and also in pdf file channel information means channel loading information that uh, we have sent out the program right now and uh, after that There is a log, inform log information, log in last, log information is basically for uh, your like uh, when uh, channel will get a stop, it will uh, uh, say the what is the time when the channel is previously you are stopped, what, uh, when channel will jump to another uh, program like uh, from CCCB mode to discharging mode, it will be record your data. So uh, now for like uh, we have uh, connected uh, one cell in uh, channel number 5 uh, to load the uh, program you have to click the respective channel number then select the start button here there is a facility to load the previous data like if you had already made a program in your previous uh, data you can just load your program from the load option select the respective program and uh, open means it will be loaded there now to uh, to start uh, 
the charging and discharging process according to your program, you just have to click on the start button. It will be restarted. So the channel once channel will be started, uh, the hardware will be uh, blink with uh, uh, like. Uh, LED will be red, green according to your uh, programming purpose as you can see it is uh, light on which it is blinking in with a red. So you can also get it there that uh, yeah my channel respective channel is working right now. So going to the software interface. Uh, now if I have to open data you can also record check out your data. Go to data record. So this is all about the data record. Once the channel will be completed we, uh, we will get a complete uh, data with uh, each and every second uh, you can record data each and every second from your uh, testing view as you can see there each and every second record, data is record, uh, recorded you can export the data from their option there is export option uh, data export you can export in excel file and pdf file so uh, this is about all the software interface now this is all about 5 volt 30 ampere 8 channel prismatic cell testing machine as well as syndical cell testing machine. You can visit in our head office uh, uh, New Delhi Purple Guns uh, for the live demo of 5 volt 30 ampere uh, prismatic cell testing machine which is going on right now and all other various type of assembly machine which is present in our head office. So thank you all for watching our video.